Well, the opioid epidemic across the country and here in East Tennessee continues to harm people and their families. Today, an opioid abatement summit was held as a way for organizations and people to network and join forces to fight the problem. Six on your side reporter Dominic Webster went out to the summit and joins us now here in the studio with all the latest. Dominic. Bo and Dom, the crowd at today's inaugural summit consisted of many organizations like Metro Drug Coalition and Chase Away Fentanyl. A former U.S. Surgeon General was there answering questions and sharing his thoughts on what can be done to stop this issue from growing. Parents who lost loved ones to the opioid and fentanyl crisis were also there sharing their stories and hoping to find answers as to how they can help others. One parent says it's all about erasing the stigma around addiction. People are dying because they're not talking about it. They don't want to admit that their child has an addiction problem, but they do. And by the time you admit it, they're dead, so it's too late. You have to address it. You have to admit it, not only to others, but you, ha you have to admit it to yourself first, and that's really hard as a parent. Former U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams headlined today's summit speaking all things overdose epidemic. He says there's a person dying every five to six minutes in the United States. We have tools available, but we're not leveraging those tools appropriately to save lives. Uh, so the summit today was bringing together people with lived experience, parents who've lost um, someone to an overdose, along with policymakers and innovators, so that we can all come together and treat this crisis with the urgency it deserves. Among those parents in attendance, Tina Kennedy and Alan Vickers. Vickers started a foundation in his son's name after losing him to an overdose with the goal to help everyone in the country fight this crisis. Our very or original goal, and it's still our goal, although we're far from there, uh, is to put Narcan in every home in the United States. It's about a $6.3 billion project. What, what made us come up with that, with that goal was we didn't have Narcan in our house. Uh, my son had been doing good. We had let him move back home. Uh, and and he'd been doing well for about three months. Vickers said his son Chase overdosed after consuming a portion of a fentanyl pill. Heath Schuler, a member of the Reach United Board of Advisors, says this is an issue that needs to be tackled by more than just the grassroots campaigns. Start talking to the lawmakers and tell me it has to be a higher priority. We have to get this priorities. It has to be at the forefront of all the things that are going on. Um, we're in the middle of election year, so we need to start talking about it. We need to start changing the policies to be able to make it. Schuler added that this is a state of emergency for the country and we need to make our community safer for everyone. Dr. Adams said during his talk this afternoon, as much negativity as there is around the talk of addiction, there are positives like the Chase Away Fentanyl organization that are helping others through this crisis. Don. Hi, Dominic. Thank you very much. Schuler, by the way, also says there will be victory when there are not extensive overdoses in the country.